Hello guys, welcome and welcome to Vince Blog. Well, today we're going to talk about this one is uh, come up module. This one is anti light for um, EMF 25. Okay, this controller is uh, having uh, EMF functionality, and uh, we can also uh, talk about the wiring connections, the options, the sensing, the voltage input and the output, uh, digital output of this uh, module. So by the way guys, I'm so sorry for the last week that I don't have the videos or the vlogs because you know you can notice to the, my voice that still have not uh, good enough to uh, to make some vlogs today because I'm still like itchy because of the cough and the runny nose is uh, there and uh, well uh, I'm just recovering for it so I'm trying my best to have this blog today so at least I can uh, have uh, some new uh, videos for you so well let's go and start this blog so we can uh, finish it and we can talk about it this uh, functionalities okay so let's start <laughs> So okay guys uh, now we have here in our uh, uh, display that we have here the come up into light for EMF 25 so this uh, we're going to talk about it today so let's jump up to our um, symbols that we are using in this uh, controller and so you are making a familiar with it because this one is the one they are using through this uh, module so let's start here we have here the trapez so means if you can see this one in your uh, module that they are using the three-piece sensing and we have the active current sensor we have the air gate and these all the symbols that you are going to familiar with it so in order to identify you if there is in case of some where you can connect and where you can uh, do your uh, uh, guidelines for your connections okay so in this module we have here um, just a little uh, more so we have this interface in our module so this is their LCD this one is the one you can see we have off manual auto tests okay so in here in the push button we have here let's start here the number one we have the cursor uh, left and we have the right we have the mute and we have the alarm reset or the mute uh, reset alarm reset okay we have the alarm and the alarm reset now we have here the close and open breaker or we have also here the close and open breaker so this one here is the generator close open this one is the mains close open okay we have here the generator running lights we have here the stop and start uh, push button we have the pressure up and down button we have the enter and we have here the like the menu or what we call this one is the uh, lists okay so let's jump up to our next uh, topic is um, the basic schematic diagram for our uh, EMF since because this module is having the EMF functionality so I will show you the connections of this okay so now here I will just search uh, the connections okay so this one is the EMF automatic means failure start this one is the typical uh, schematic for this EMF connections so as you can see here we have the means and we have the genset we have the load and we have the circuit breaker and we have the motorized means circuit breaker and we have the motorized 
uh, generator circuit breaker this one here and down is you have the control close open push button and we have here the controller from here we have the feedback from your control uh, breaker and from the breaker means feedback and we have the generator means uh, generator uh, close feedback breaker okay we have the sensing we have the three piece sensing so these are the necessary connections that you have if you need this auto means failure connections okay once you press this one the breaker this push button it will energize your uh, con uh, your holding coil and then the motor will run to close the mains breaker same as the functions here if you close if you press this one it will energize and close the relay or the holding coil and then the motor also will run in order to close the uh, generator breaker so this one is not highlighted here the interlocking for electrical so it should be half okay so these are the schematic um, diagram for the EMF functionality okay so here is the connections for our the voltage sensing and we have here are for the terminals we are using for the connections so here if you can see we have from the controller positive negative and battery which is the connections from your uh, starter uh, relay and your starter motor okay so you have positive and negative supply directly to your motor and it's controlled by your controller okay so from here this one is the city locations where you can connect from your generator side wiring okay so here we are going to uh, explain here the rest of the connections okay so since we are just only uh, doing the wiring connection so I'll just only show you those are the importance so if you have the ECM only for this one so let's talk about it later on so okay guys these are uh, the connections from our module this one is in the back of your um, emf and light 25 and here is the full connections or schematic diagram of your um, module so here let's talk about first the battery supply connections as you can see here the red is our positive supply and the blue one is our negative supply so if you look around here it is connected from our starter and they have the blacking diode and they have the negative so and look around here we have this charging alternator which is connected parallelly in our battery positive connection supply so if you look around here where is the connection that one so we have here the positive and the negative and the d plus d plus is means this one is the connections where you can have the monitoring voltage of your exciter or this one is using for the excitations functions okay <clears throat> so if you look around here there is a lot of connections attached to your uh, uh, negative and the positive supply okay so next here we have uh, the connections around here so we we'll just a little bit zoom in so we can see more clearer okay so in here we have the connections from your negative side which is this one is our alarms yes. so this one is have here that's 11 12 10 9 through 8 through 7 and which is 
connected from our negative supply and we have here also the emergency stop which is connected to our number four which is um emergency stop connections okay so around here so our uh, number 32 22 21 20 19 18 17 and 16 which is connected it the 17 and 16 is connected from our uh, magnetic supply okay F 16 and 17 as I say to you this one is designated from our uh, magnetic supply okay the rest of it is our uh, analog uh, sensor which is connected to our uh, 32, 22, 21, 20, and 19. These are the functions of our analog uh, connections, which is we have the oil, coolant, and fuel, and another options that we can use it. So this one here, 22, 21, 20, 19, and 18 is our analog connections, which is we have the sensor for that in order to have the reading a measurement for our generator or our engine okay so how here we have the H and L which one is designated to our uh, communications to our ACM if you have the electronic engine you need this one in order to have the measuring or the parameters that you needed from the engine side okay so let's talk about here on our city connections which is uh, number 30 31 and 32 which is number 33 is our uh, also city connection so let's check it here that um, this connections is having the line one line two line three city connections either for you which one is the connections is, is necessary for you okay either three piece single piece or uh, line to line connections okay or line to one line to ground connections this one is re reconfigurable through the uh, software okay excuse me <coughs> so just follow connections uh, the diagram connections so you, it will not make you uh, trouble for that so in here we have the 38 39 40 and 41 which is designated from our generator voltage sensing okay here you can uh, tap or you can connect from your uh, sensing voltage from your uh, module where you can get this one this one is you can get from the breaker side or either from your uh, um, alternator box connections okay so here we have the mains connections voltage mains sensing so which is connected from your line line one line two line three from your mains connections which is the number here it is 42 43 44 45 which is the 42 is our neutral and the rest of that is our line okay so our 46 47 this one is designated from our um, uh, interlocking connections from our breaker like the mains close breaker and the generator close breaker so if you look around here 46 is our generator close uh, designated close output breaker and we have the 47 is our designated from our means close breaker so this output here is um, dry contact we can use this one either dc or uh, ac connections or ac voltage okay output so let's jump out here from our um, 49 50 51 52 this one having the connections which is our uh, we just close it from here uh, remote access lag remote off remote test and shutdown override okay 
so here is our connections this is uh, negatively active this is all normally open okay so once it was uh, the negative is closed or the, the the contact is closed it will give feedback to this numbers here and it whatever the configurations that you are doing that will be uh, the functions is occur okay so let's move on here we have the usb cable which is our connections to our laptop through configurations okay <coughs> excuse me so around here we have the rs45 avcom so this one is from your uh, communications you can use it like you have the uh, data that you are going to take from this module depends on what is the usage what you are using for this this one you can use it here rs45 as your uh, data connections okay so i think uh, i've just spoken to you all the rest of our connections which is easy to understand okay so as you can see here we have the connections from our starter look around here follow the hands this is output uh, digital output okay so here is our digital output from going to the starter okay so we have here the pre-start or the start command okay so we have here also the breaker connections so these are the output voltage from your uh yeah you can come uh, from our uh, module so by the way guys um, if you have some questions just comment down below and also shares our uh, you know our video so we can uh, also somebody as uh, learning from it okay so if you have some doubt just comment down and don't forget to share of course to our friends so this one as I said this one is come up module this one is different from our uh, module we are always talking about here so i think i am done for our connections and the functionalities for this one uh, always uh, refer to the manual and always refer for the wiring connections if you are doing this uh, kind of module so if you need to ask or something for more clarifications just comment down from my yt so we can talk about it so once again uh vince blog is here and see you again to our next topic or see you again to my next blog and say bye bye